and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got something a little bit different for you guys. Um, I will be doing a rig review. So I've got my natural hair out. Um, I'll be doing a review and sort of just putting it on first impression sort of thing. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So the wig that I'll be reviewing today, I bought it from my local beauty supply store and it was £34.99 in the style French Wave, which looks like this. This is what the packaging looks like. The colour that I got is T1B27, which I think is like a brown blonde sort of colour. So this is what the wig looks like. This is the colour of the wig. Let me just take the net off. It's got the protective net over it. So let's take the net off. So this is the colour. As you can see, it's more of a brown, I would say. Um, more than a brown than it is a blonde. But um, yeah, let's take this out completely out. Okay, so I've taken it out of the packet. So it looks like this. It's got dark roots. Um, the roots, I'd say, is more of a black colour. It's not brown at all. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's more of a black colour. And the roots doesn't run all the way through. So as you can see here, it's not rooted coloured. It's just straight up the brownish blondish colour. It's got two clips at the front one clip at the back and it also has as always the adjustable straps which is really good um that's the sort of things that i like to look for in a wig just because i make i like to make sure that it's nice and snug and tight so yeah that's what that looks like and for parting i feel like yeah the parting is long enough so um that's another plus thing for me um yeah overall looks all right looks all right so let's get into the installation so what we're do first is i'm just going to cut off the excess lace at the front okay so now i'm just going to um do the parting so it matches my scalp and i'll be right back okay so how i like to customize the parting to match my scalp is i do it inside out so i do it like this and then i just take my foundation and today i'm using the maybelline fit me matte poreless 330 which is this one so i'm just going to take this uh makeup brush that i don't use and i'm just going to dab my makeup brush into the foundation as so literally like just put put it all on and then with my part in this way i'm just going to run it all the way so just do this paint it basically all the way into that part in you can now see that that has been done but there's still some of the black so what i do next is i just take that same brush and then just with the brush this way like that i just go along that just to fill in any gaps that i've missed and that should look like that now as you can see, much, much better. And now to set that foundation, I'm gonna go in with my face powder and the powder that I'm gonna be using is my MAC one. And with the same brush and the same technique that we did, we start off with the inside first. So we set the foundation from the inside first. Just swell your powder and then do the exact same thing. So now it's time to install. So what I just did is I couldn't be bothered to cane row my hair, but usually I would recommend that you cane row your hair, obviously protect your hair, stuff like that, but I can't be bothered to cane row my hair. So I just um, put some edge control and just tied it all the way back and then flipped it up. Mine is brown because it's the only one that I can find. Um, so I'm just gonna place that on my head. Oh, I'm gonna look like a dick. I'm just going to place that on my head, slide it backwards, but just still bringing it a little bit forward. I take the two clips at the front and I put them here like that, so I tuck them under like that. So it'll be like that, basically. And then I hold it like this, grab the back of where the other clip is, and I'll just pull the wig in 
this point you can just sort of adjust to how you like okay it. so as you can see my parting is nice and neat obviously if you want a wider parting you can pluck it and but I feel like this parting is okay for me and then um, what you want to do is you never want to use a brush well I think you should never use a brush um, in the beginning stages of a synthetic wig I feel like um, it ruins it so what I like to do is I like to take a wide tooth comb and I'll just run the I'll run my I'll run the wide tooth comb I'll run the wide tooth comb through my wig okay so this is what the wig looks like um, obviously you can style it to how you want it um, I think I'm going to leave it like this. Let's like get it. into my thoughts of the wig. So this is what the wig looks like on. Obviously you can style it to however you want it. Um, add some products if you want. But I just don't think it's a good idea adding products to a synthetic wig. So I feel like it will dry out quicker and ruin it quickly. I feel like the wig itself is really light when you put it on your head. So it's a good wig to have during the summertime. It's not going to wear you down, make you extra hot or anything like that. Because there's quite a lot of, you know, gaps in space and breathing space for your hair to breathe. Um, the length, I would say, is about maybe 18 or 20 inch. It's not really that long. It just comes right underneath my breast. So yeah, I'd say that's like about a 20, maybe a 22 inch actually, and it's layered. So I'd say the front is about maybe a 14, 14 or, yeah, I think it's probably like a 14. Overall, I feel like it's a really nice wig. Um, and if you take care of it properly, then obviously you might get um, more usage out of it. I really like the colour. I feel like it's really appropriate for the summer. So that's another plus for me. Um, and overall for the price, it is £35. Now for a synthetic wig, £35, you know, some people might feel like it's a bit of a stretch, but I don't know. We'll just have to see if it's worth the price um, when we sort of have a final review. So after I've had a few wet wear, wear, wearings out of it. Okay, so after I've had probably like a few more wears out of the wig, then I can sort of, you know, see if it is really worth the price. Because at the moment, right now, it's first impression. So everything's nice and perfect. It's nice and soft and... Um, there's, I don't have any problems. Later on, we'll hopefully see if there's like, we get any nips at the back or if it gets matted quickly and things like that. But I feel like you shouldn't really expect too much from a synthetic wig anyways. But um, I feel like the quality is really, really, really good. Like I said, summer appropriate and really light. So for hot climates, it's okay for you to wear this wig. If you're someone who doesn't like a lot of heat on your hair, then this is really good for you. And I feel, I actually do think that this, this is a good price as well. Because just look at it. Pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my video. Um, like I said, this is my first um, wig review. So please let me know your thoughts below. So comment below. And if you liked my video, like it, put the thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, and um, stay tuned for my next video, guys. Love you all. Bye.